What y'all trying to do? Set people up? Just have people get robbed. vlog with Peyton. Hey, did it. Gosh, I have the same bag. And then I bought a little bag. It's just the Prada nylon bag. Mm -hmm. And uh Hermes bracelet is cute. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. <laughs> Y'all make espresso martinis here. But so this is a look really cute. I Definitely go and check out that vlog if you haven't done so already. And let's jump into this one and see what's going on. Hey girl. Hi guy. So I'm getting ready to make me a bowl of cereal. I'm all rejuvenated and refreshed. I just took me a shower. It's quite early in the morning. It's like 10 a.m. So like I have a busy day ahead. I need to go to Home Depot. Um, I need to make some run some errands to the post office. I need to go by T-Mobile because I want to pick up a new phone and also get Karen a phone. And um, yeah, then I need to come back home to edit. So I definitely need energy. I've started taking these new vitamins from Care Of and I do want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They have a slew of vitamins that you can choose. And I love that they give you a little quiz in the beginning to like really understand like what your body needs needs in order to function properly and be healthy so based on my questions they sent me different vitamins um for things that i'll need what i love most about it is that it's personalized based on your needs and when you get your card it says that everything was made for you so this will last me for the next 30 days i have five peels that i have to take and then i also got collagen for skin health and then i got five little packets for digestive health. So um, I got a probiotic blend that's for gut and immune health, uh, magnesium for muscle and bone health. I got xanthin, it's for skin and eye health, vitamin D for bones and immune, and rhodiola for stress and mood. One of the best things about care of is you never have to remember to go to the store and buy more vitamins because care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins supplements and powders conveniently to your door every month they help you keep an eco-friendly mindset throughout your wellness and wellness journey while also making taking your vitamins easy and convenient the personalized packs are made from a plant-based compostable film and the products are made from good for you clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research so you can feel good about what you're putting in your body. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code Peyton Charles 50. That's go to takecareof.com and enter code Peyton Charles 50 for 50% off your first order. Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. If this is your first time viewing and you are not subscribed, girl, go ahead and subscribe and become a PayPal. That's what I call my subscribers, PayPal. <sighs> but yeah, girl, I'm about to make me some breakfast. I just got through, let's see what time it is. It's 1.43, so I'm about to make me some brunch. Okay, let's talk about this toast, okay? This French toast from Trader Joe's. <sighs> this is the best French toast that I ever had. It only comes four in a box. So I'm gonna take a trip to Trader Joe's this week and get some more. Um, I usually just eat like two when I take when I eat breakfast. So I'm about to make me some eggs, African American eggs, the brown ones, <laughs> and two French toasts with some um strawberries. I kinda wanna do um uh hash browns too. But I woke up this morning, I was super productive. I had a uh, business meeting. <laughs> in my robe 
and what about it i had a business meeting with um an agency that i work with that gets me a lot of sponsors and then i had to upload content and let me just say this being a social media influencer it's not as easy as it looks i'm not complaining don't get this twisted i'm not complaining but i do want you to know like if this is something that you want to do full time it is not easy as it looks so let's i i, I want you guys to really consider those things like when you look at social media influencers and them rewarding themselves and like taking vacations and doing this stuff this is really hard work like we still get up during the day even though we work in most of the times in our robes and some lounge where we're still we still have to be productive in order to make money because if we don't have an influence if we don't do these things we don't make any money you know it's it's not the same as head going to work clocking in and getting a guaranteed paycheck one we have to wait 30 days for our money sometimes 45 days for the money while you guys get paid every week or two weeks or you know the first and 15 so it's different you know what i'm saying then sometimes we don't even get paid because i just recently did a sponsorship and i'll be honest they were they owed me four thousand dollars and i never got paid like i've sent this person 20 emails i've never gotten paid so yeah N not this the pretty woman sequel so i'm watching the haves and have nots i'm on season two episode 18 and what about it and you know she done met this rich man right this billionaire is he a billionaire why stuff like this never happened to me first of all because <laughs> I'm right here waiting. I'm ready. I'm willing. Why stuff like this never? Why I never meet billionaires? I meet broken ears. But anyway, we're gonna get back to the subject. Tyler Perry is real good for remaking classics. So now we watching a remake of Pretty Woman, and he wanna take her out that lifestyle. Even though she a millionaire, even though she she extorted her way into being a millionaire, she a millionaire now, but. It's always when you don't want to be in a relationship or you don't want to be in love, you end up meeting somebody that want to change it. Like, okay, I don't want to be in love anymore. Ah! This is literally the best French toast ever, y'all, for real. I can't lie. Hey, you guys. So we are here at Laser Away. I'm getting ready to get a consultation to see if they can um retouch like touch up my lips um the last girl said that i had migration and she didn't want to, she didn't feel comfortable working over somebody else's work so she wanted to dissolve them but here i think i'll be able to get them done so i'm just gonna like do a consult and hopefully she says that she can touch them up Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us. And a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. By the glass, I'm in a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit, it is what it is. But said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G, God forbid. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, going nuts. Okay. Niggas caught me slipping. This the final look. She did so good. Okay, so she defined my cupid's bow and then she fluffed my pillows. Cause like he put like I want I like my bottom lip to be like a booty lip. So she fluffed my pillows up and hydrated them more. They look so good. She did exactly what I asked. And they keep my syringe because she only used like a, a quarter or maybe a third. 
they keep my syringe for uh, a month so I'm coming back in two weeks for a follow-up and if she wants if I feel like I need them touched up again she can touch them up some more I love that and their syringes are only 650 because you know I'm only used to paying like 200 when I go to Turkey so you know United States love to capitalize our vanity. That's the that's the best price that I found, and she did exactly what I asked for. Exactly. That's all I wanted was a touch up, and it looked perfect. <laughs> Baby, he said he wanna smell my poo nutty. Really? Poo oh, nutty. Should I let him? supposed to use that muscle. Alright, I'm finna go home because I got stuff to do. So come on. Oh, they look so good, girl. They look so good. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Just hit my damn garbage can like, bro, bro, listen to the damn beeping thing when it's been, when it go off. It be trying to tell you, dumbass. But look at my lips, y'all. My lips look so good. And um, did I tell y'all? Okay, so her name is Gabby. Her name is Gabby. Her technique was like amazing. I barely felt the needle punctures. She gave me my like booty lips like I wanted. The little pillow. She told me not to massage them for uh, a week because they would migrate. So like. I don't know, like, this one right here kind of feeling a little hard. I mean, it's soft. I need somebody to kiss me and tell me what my lips feeling like. Uh, I can't really tell what they feeling like. But anyway, her, um, her technique was, like, super, super amazing. Like, I barely felt it. You know, my last time I got my lips done, it was pretty brutal. But her technique is so gentle. She gives you a great lip massage afterwards. And then, um, I don't know if I told y'all this, but like, they save your syringe for up to a month. So like in two weeks, I go back for a follow-up. And if I want her to like add more, they can like use that same syringe and add more volume, which I probably don't think I'll, I'll be doing because I like my lips how they are. But yeah i feel like they just gave me a more like youthful look you know what i'm saying and i told her she did exactly what i wanted her to do i told her that i wanted my bottom lip to be a little bit bigger than my top lip so i love them right now i have on my winky Lux um lip balm which is like a mood lip balm so like it uh changes your lip color to like a nice flushy healthy pink um, I love wearing this lip balm after I get my lips done because it just, I don't know, it just it just makes your lips look like so healthy and pretty and pink and you really don't need to do anything else like you can go for like a nice little natural look. So, shit, all I would need to do is pop on some lashes and I'm good to go but because I'm getting ready to go get a facial and I'm, I'm getting ready to get another Janeo facial. So, y'all y'all have seen this in the last couple of vlogs um, when I did my maintenance so I'm not gonna show it um, but I'm trying to like stay on top of it because right now I'm experiencing some experiencing some hormonal acne from it being the time of the month and like wow <laughs> wow I had like one two three four one two three four five pimples five pimples from this this period <laughs> annoying so we probably I'm probably gonna see what she says, but nine times out of ten, I'm probably gonna let her do me a VIP um in the upcoming months, which I know is not like the best idea since it's summertime and you they really don't recommend you getting chemical pills in the summertime, but maybe I need these dark spots off of my face. Yeah. I'm in London, I like to go and shop at the mall, shop at the Prada, shop at the store, shop in the... <laughs> okay, so because I had so many um, hormonal breakouts from being on my cycle, 
and she was even like do you always break out like this rain it's like a no it's generally like one big one or like two but this time it was five like the fuck um i don't know what that's about child but she put this um uh, it's it's another dmk product they use all dmk product that's um donna montague king i think that's how you say it so this is a it's called Ectro powder and it's a sebum control powder and this is just going to pull out any excess oil that's inside of the pore um and it's going to help it to dry out and heal and i won't like um have like so much hyperpigmentation so in two weeks i'm going to come back for a clear and brilliant and then two weeks after that another Janeo and then she's going to do the skin pen on my acne scar and in my hyperpigmentation so doesn't look like I'm going to be doing a chemical peel which is probably for the best honestly because it's summertime and you're not supposed to get them when it's like super sunny outside so now I'm about to head back to the house and make me a little lunch uh, order me some Instacart. Um, just things that I can't get at Trader Joe's, like the juice that I really like, and I like the Buffalo Ranch salad, and I like the tuna creations and stuff like that. So, like things that I can't get from Trader Joe's, I Instacart. So I'm gonna like go home and do that and. Um, since I'm not cramping as bad, I'm going to go ahead and um, install my curtains in my office. And finally put together, I've been saying I'm going to put this doggone perfume display case together for a week. And I'm, I've been procrastinating and just, girl, I've been so enthralled in the have and have nots, y'all. Like, this is my conversation piece. Like, when I'm, you know... Like now I just like randomly ask people, oh my God, do you watch the have and have nights? Like what is going on with why you like, why, why you do that? Like Tyler Perry, I don't know. I do not know what happened with Ruthless, Oval, Sisters, but the acting, the storyline, the plot, everything on the have and have nights, good good like award worthy i think the have he won awards for the have and have nots because that show is good like i when i tell you i've been locked in locked in last night i stayed up till five o'clock this morning watching it like i literally i mean i still it, it helps my insomnia because i have something to do and watch so like it takes my mind off things that I would normally like be um, depressed about or over analyzing and stuff like that um, that show so doggone good I, I, I just I can't get enough and I'm on season three now by the way if you all recall last week I started season one I already um season three and what about it and baby it is getting good honey it is getting good if you ain't watching it you need to watch it dog i want to go to the store i can't go looking like this I want to go and I want to go to Joe Malone and get um their body cream, y'all. I don't know why. I'm just now realizing this, but Joe Malone has the best body cream in the entire world. Joe Malone got the best body cream in the entire world. Why do you ask? Because I have eczema, and it's not bad, but like. Like, I, I get dry patches on my shoulders and on my elbows. Joe Malone literally is the cure for eczema. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I'm the first one to say it. 
Jomalone is the cure for dry skin and eczema. I don't know what they put in their body cream, but literally it is the richest, most moisturizing body cream you can ever use in your life. It is going to be so hydrating. Your skin is going to be so soft. Like, I, I'm almost done with the... Um, the travel the travel size that Brie got me for my birthday it's almost gone like I've been using it every day and I want to go <sighs> I want to go to the mall and, girl I want to go to the mall just like this and what about it excuse me what what are you staring at cuz you know I'll do it you know I'll do it I want to go to the mall and get it so bad like I'm ready to get it right now I don't want to wait and I really don't care about people looking at me and staring at me. You know I don't give a damn. You know. If don't nobody give a damn, I don't give a damn. Tell you what I did last night. I came home, say around a quarter to three. Still so high, hypnotized in a trance from this body. So buttery brown and tantalizing. You would have thought I needed help from this feeling that I felt. So shook, I had to catch my breath. Ooh, there goes my shirt up over my head. Oh my. Was that the, was that, that that garbage disposal smelling like that? I don't like that. I don't like how that smell. Bitch, I thought that was me. But I, I know you lying because I just got out the shower and I don't stink. I don't get stinky. Baby, I love being in my living room when the sun set. It's the most beautiful lighting that comes through the windows. And then the sheer curtains kind of like dim the, the sun. But you can like see it. Like you can see it going down slowly. It's just so beautiful. Y'all want to see? I didn't think that I was creating a functional room that I would really enjoy being in all of the time, but I really, really enjoy being in my living room. Plus, I'm right here by the kitchen, so I could just eat and snack all I want, honey, because I'm telling you, once I go upstairs, baby, once I'm up, I'm up. Once I'm there, I'm there. I don't like coming up and down the steps honey this i feel like this is why my legs done got so damn skinny child i need to get back in the gym quick i can't take it like oh i don't get it i don't understand i'm getting on a scale and it's saying i'm 140 baby where the fuck is it but yeah i am about to catch up on my sis monroe's vlog see if brie just uploaded a vlog because you know we got to support the girls she monroe on it baby monroe is that baby a workaholic. Even the even over the weekend when I was in Miami, she was leaving early. I was like, that baby got to get up early in the morning and work. She is a really, she that girl. Monroe is that girl. She don't take breaks. Not even on the weekend when her friends in town, baby. She's still gonna get up early in the morning and get to work. I love it about her. She is so productive. So she just uh, uploaded her home decor tour and a weekly vlog as well. So you know we gotta support the girls. You know we gotta support the girls. And then I'm um, gonna catch up on a few more episodes of the haves and have nots. Y'all, this show is so damn addicting. I be up till four, five o'clock in the morning because I cannot stop watching it. I literally watch it until I fall asleep. So if I'm not sleepy, I'm going to keep on watching it. Be up all time of night. But oddly, I still wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm still productive. I get a lot of things done in the day before like, shoot, before like 1 p.m. I get a lot of stuff done. I am still surprisingly very productive. But I do need to add some things into my routine like yoga. Definitely and the gym definitely and maybe two more uh meals like maybe like a meal supplement like a smoothie 
and things like that i need to i need to add that and i also need to start being more proactive on tiktok and reels so you guys are going to see a small change in um in in things like i'm still going to be doing the reenactments on tiktok because i love doing those uh, y'all know I, I, maybe y'all didn't notice but i do want to act i do want to get into acting i just don't know where to start so I really do like doing the reenactments, but I also want to do like, you know, mini vlogs and stuff like that because y'all enjoy my vlogs so much. Why not do mini vlogs on Instagram and things like that so I can get that real money up because you make money for reels. Um, and I don't really do them that much. You know, I'm I'm so I'm good at on YouTube. I don't really use my other social media outlets like I should, but like it's so many different ways to make money on the internet. I need to be doing each and every one of them. You know what I'm saying? Because brands are always asking me, hey, can you send me your Instagram analytics? Can you send me your TikTok analytics? And I'd be like, uh-uh. I ain't got no followers on there. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I don't have no followers. I don't even feel like my influence is big on TikTok and Instagram. So, can we just consider my YouTube and that be it? Like, <laughs> you, we ain't got to add in Instagram. Like, I'm, mm -mm. uh uh. Because next thing you know, you're going to be coming back asking me to do something else because you didn't get the numbers that you thought you was on. I'm, I'm telling you now, my Instagram ain't popping like that. It's not. I want it to be eventually but i wanted to grow organically i'm not buying followers i'm not trying to ride nobody coattail for shout outs and doing none of that stuff like i don't want to do nothing like that i just want to grow organically like i have on youtube so i'm gonna become more consistent so you guys are gonna see a change i'm gonna start uploading more consistently so work with me you know what i'm saying if you fuck with me i love y'all you know what i'm saying i i I truly, truly appreciate y'all's support for everything because, man, man, because of y'all. It has been because of y'all. Do y'all remember like last year I was looking for a job? I was like applying for like 100 jobs every month, getting emails saying we decided to go with another candidate. It was because of y'all that I decided to walk away from my career in project management and f be a full-time YouTuber. Everybody in the, it was so many PayPal's that said, I think you should do this full-time. You are so good at this. And I was just getting started. I have continued to perfect my craft and add more things in it to make you guys um, feel entertained. You know what I'm saying? Because if you watching a vlog for an hour, baby, you got to come with it. <laughs> you got If you uploading an hour long vlog, you got to come with it. You cannot be boring. So, you know, uh, thankfully, my life ain't boring. What's, what's so funny? And if I actually, if I really got down to the nitty gritty, it really ain't boring. I got... Psh Baby, it'd be some tea going on in my life. I just don't put everything on YouTube because not everything is for YouTube. But, ooh, girl. Th them vent sessions with friends. Them vent, them vent sessions with friends be deep and dangerous, bitch. Ooh, they be deep and dangerous. Sometimes I ask myself, how are you so positive? Ooh, because they be trying you, girl. <laughs> They be trying me. Y'all, Karen watch my vlog. She say I have her laughing all the time. Karen be showing her friends my vlogs. That baby love her mama. That's one thing about Karen. She love her mama. How I am on the internet, how I am on YouTube, that's who I really am. It's just I'm shy in person until I get to know you. And then you get to see that goofy side of me. But that's who I really am. Like, I me, mean, I have Karen laughing all the time. And she have, she's equally funny. She be having me rolling on the floor laughing. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to, I can't wait till she start vlogging because she wants to be a YouTube vlogger. So, um, that's gonna, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Take some trips with my baby. It'll be the end of the solo tripping. 
It will, cause once 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 sis come back and live with me, it's it's up. We out of here. I slick wanna move to Cabo. I slick wanna buy me a townhouse and a condo in Cabo. How about it? For real. I've been thinking about it too. But that doodle -doo grass that th that doodle -doo grass threw me off because I ain't I ain't quiet as kept. I ain't even tell y'all that I had got a little fungus on my toe. I'm telling y'all, there wasn't no damn, there wasn't no whatever that lady said, it was dirt and mud. Nah, bitch. That was some doo doo grass. Cause why I get a fungus on my toe? Now I can't get my toes up. See how y'all do? So I'm a little mad at Cabo, for real. I'm mad. The timeshare and the doodle -doo grass just got me. Oh, but I'm gonna pray about it. I'm gonna pray about it, and I'm gonna give me some, uh, some cream. But you know, I, I think fungus have to like grow out, don't it? I can't believe I got a fungus on my toe, bitch. It might not be a. It. I don't, I really don't want to claim it because I feel like that's kind of dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like I know people that hit fungus on their toes and like, <laughs> they feet weren't pretty, like. Do y'all, have y'all seen my toes? Like my toes, I, I take pride in my feet. I get my feet from my mama. My mama had really pretty feet. I get my feet from her. Baby, ever since boomerang, I don't play about my toes. So, I kind of want to call Cabo and have a talk. Excuse me, but y'all got doodle grass going on over there and I don't like that. Then you got these little ass water bottles. Ugh. Oh God, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have fell asleep on the couch. Oh wow. Hey you guys, good morning. Oh my god. So I fell asleep last night watching the have the have not that I actually fell asleep on it. So I'm gonna go have to go back and watch some episodes because I don't know when it stopped, but I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> it's not that my couch isn't comfortable, it's actually really, really comfortable. It's just I need a better blanket. Like I really be like trying to sleep in a bowl to fit under this whole blanket because I don't like sleep on the actual like couch. I sleep on the blanket. So the blanket, the blanket's not big enough for me. I have to like fold it in half and like try to sleep on, it's, it's just too much. So like it makes me sleep uncomfortably when I can really like stretch out on this bad boy. So that's why my back hurting because I still be trying to sleep in a ball in the point of like if i'm gonna fall asleep on my couch i need to sleep on my back because i need to be on a firm um s s like surface i need to sleep on something firm but anyway i have an appointment to get my hair blown out today so we're gonna go do that i have been trying to get in press roots for like a week and a half because there's one right around the corner from me but um that one is booked up until next week so they just opened a new location out in plano and plano has um appointments open today because i guess it's not like a lot of people in plano like a lot a lot of us <laughs> in plano so like they got openings today so i have an appointment to get my hair blown out so i gotta take my braids down and untangle my hair really really good because if i don't do it at home and they don't do it enough before they wash my hair oh my god i'm gonna lose a lot of hair like it's gonna mat up and tangle after they wash it i'm gonna lose a lot a lot of hair so we're about to do that well first i need to make breakfast <sighs> and since i don't have a lot of time <laughs> Going to make me some honeycombs.
outfits. And you're going to love this video, so go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and also click the notification bell so that you never miss a video, especially if you love fashion, travel, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Man, I messed around and got, I thought I was getting lactose-free milk, but I end up just getting reduced fat. I am lactose intolerant for real. For real. I got three cartons, because I had got, you know, Enough so I can make my smoothies and stuff like this, baby. This got to go. This got to get up out of my house immediately. Look at that. I still have more honeycombs to go. This shit almost ruined me. She said you're my everything. I love you through everything. I done did everything to her. The destination is on your right. Pressed roots planer. You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gonna take off like a You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. You already know no no no. She put too much serum or oil in it, so it's kind of like way down. So like, oh my God, it's so thin. This, like, do you see? Like, like, my pump, it's so thin. <laughs> I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my vitamins right now. I can't take it. But I'm gonna just stay on myself. Like, I gotta make sure I take my vitamins. Cause I'm not happy with how thin my hair feels after I get a flat iron. It wasn't always like this. But I am about to make me some lunch. So I'm about to uh, make me a tuna, a uh, buffalo ranch salad with the buffalo ranch tuna fish on top and a chicken salad sandwich because i am starving tell you what i did last night i came home say around a quarter to three still so high okay so i'm find, about to finally put together these um curtain racks baby okay so i got some more glider hooks off of amazon these say they're for the Vigva uh, curtain rack system, but these look different than the ones that I actually bought from Ikea. I got these off of Amazon, but we got to put it together, girl. Got my ladder. Where's my drill? Oh, God. Is it downstairs? I feel like going downstairs.
make that ass clap, she don't need no applause High fashion, like go, y'all G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause you got a call I know I gotta keep my daughter on Go, go, drop that ass to the floor, go Ah, whoa, you ain't gotta do with none of these niggas no more If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my product, babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of faith But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe You know I like when you rest at the top, babe She wants your name, name to be yo-yo I'm only doing cash, yeah, I don't need promo I pull up to the high-rise, I'm in the fofo Inside Coco If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart And I keep a pedicure cause I don't do facade You can see my diamonds even when I'm in the dark And since you got it, it make you go and do it She don't need no applause High fashion, like go, y'all G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause you got a call I know I gotta keep my daughter on Go, go, drop that ass to the floor Ah, whoa, you ain't gotta do with none of these niggas no more If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my product, babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of faith But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe You know I like when you rise at the top, babe Shawty made that ass pass, you don't need no applause I put some ice on you cause you got a call, ho I know I gotta keep my daughter on, go, go Drop that ass to the floor, go, yeah It's a good Saturday. Uh, watching, uh, yeah, watching yes, some sir. have and have nots. Oh, it's a good day. <sighs> Y'all, that massage was so good. It was exactly what I needed to like push me and get me through the rest of the day. So, um, I'm watching a little the haves and have nots. Y'all, this show like I'm so addicted. I'm ashamed. Like I can't believe this. Tyler Perry just really outdid himself. Like I've been stuck. I have been stuck. I'm trying to like be productive, but at the same time, like I have to stop and watch my show. So I'm like working and watching at the same time. I'm on season three and I'm already like at the end. I'm getting ready to go into season four. And y'all know I started this show like a week and a half ago. So. Yes, <laughs> girl, I'm I'm stuck, but I'm get I'm get some things done today. I need to I need to wash some hair and um, put a unit on because my hair is wrapped up under here and it's like so so flat. So I was able to get a stocking cap over it so I can have my hair wrapped under my wigs. So um, this time I'm gonna be wearing my hair underneath my wigs for a while until it thickens back up i'm just gonna wrap it and then put a stocking cap over it and wear it under my wigs like this because it is super super flat like it's like flatter than braids so yeah i'm gonna wash the unit and um clean up my bedroom and organize a little bit in in a few but i'm stuck i'm stuck girl I but yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay. We are all done. I finally put it together. Said that I would. And this requires you to have two people. But I did it all on my own. And it looks really, really good. I got this from Ikea. I will link it in the description box if I can find it. I think it was the Dell Del Toe or something like that. It was like $70. But yeah. Best purchase that I have gotten all year, you guys. Because it just looks perfect. I have it like right here by my um, nightstand in the corner. So once I let my shades up, the door can kind of block it. Because you're not supposed to have your fragrances in the direct sunlight. So let me see where how it's going to look once I let my shades up because I want this door to be able to kind of block the and uh, like give it some shade so it's not directly in the sunlight so 
It kind of is, but it's not that bad. All right, I am about to do some work and do some filming. I got to get some work done, so. Whoa. Tell you that they love you, but they fell through. So you shot 42, cause you, hey. And you throwing on that dress, cause it's see through. Yeah, talking all the shit that you done been through. Yeah, texting me and say I need to see you. some more box cutters i don't know what happened to all my damn box cutters but i'm using this paring knife and it's sharper than a damn box cutter i like this knife okay so, okay. so i was on instagram and i ran across these fendi lookalikes they're by jeffrey campbell and I got them in a staple color. I got them in black. They came in like a variety of colors like nude, lilac, um, purple. They came in a whole bunch of colors, but I got them in black because, I don't know, I feel like black is classic and a staple and yeah. So this is what they look like. Aren't they cute? They look like those Fendi sandals which I wanted, but um, I don't know. I guess I didn't really want to play, pay the price for the Fendi ones. That's why I never got them, but I had my eye on them for quite a while, okay? And so, like, this part goes over the foot, and then this part goes behind the ankle, so I'm gonna try them on and see if they fit. These are so cute. Ain't those cute? Oh, wee. I'm gonna put these on today. These are so freaking cute. It's giving. I like these. So these were, how much were these? I know you lying. They don't send an invoice. I think these were like, I want to say these were like, 189 pretty good price i am loving them i am absolutely loving them My vibe, y'all know. Um, my, my skin had been breaking out a lot after Miami. I think it was because of my cycle. Um, I usually don't break out that much, but this time I hit like five pimples. It was a lot. So I'm letting my skin breathe. Um, so I'm not gonna put on any makeup, but y'all, that Uber Lube for real, it made my hair so soft. And at first it was kind of like tangling because I've had this unit for a while. So, um, it started to tangle. You know, the more you wash and condition wigs, it starts to tangle a little bit more. And it just smoothed out. Now I can, like, I'm not getting any tangling. And you can see the layers in it are gorge. Okay, I'm about to finish getting ready. So, what are we gonna wear? Perfume. Okay, so. 
lately 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 i have been wearing my do y'all just love this display case i love it um shout out to nikki platinum d she has a lot of these in her beauty room and it just really inspired me to um get one because um these things are super heavy and one of them fell on my mirror dresser and cracked my mirror so that's what really made me want to go ahead and get this display case because one i'm running out of room on my dresser and two it's damaged my dresser like these cupcake things are heavy you could be somebody upside the head with it so what am i gonna put on today mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. i don't know I feel like I'm always wearing the same thing all the time and I need to like wear different stuff. I ain't wore this in a little minute. But I also ain't, you know what I also haven't worn? I haven't worn. Uh, I haven't worn Baccarat in a while. I think I'm gonna put on back right. I ain't worn it in so long. I gotta get these nails off. Like they are literally lifting everywhere. It's crazy. I gotta get them off of my hands. Like this, that needs to be the first place I go. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Instant Crush. I always say instant crush smell like baccarat but it don't it's the saffron in it i get it but instant crush don't smell like baccarat the fact that i literally just slid in these tom ford shoes the way i just did uh why haven't i been doing this like wow that was so easy i'm never I wonder can I take them off the same way because putting these shoes on with long nails kind of be a little headache. Did y'all see how I just put these shoes on? Girl, if you ain't been trying it, try it. It's going to save you some time. Alright, and I'm just going to throw this Zara jacket on. Okay, you guys, so this is the outfit of the day. So the blazer is from Zara. The two-piece set is from Fashion Nova. And then the shoes are Tom Ford. Okay, so it is a little hot outside. One could say it's too hot for a blazer, possibly. Um, if one was to say that, I would ignore them because oh, my your business. I'm gonna carry this bag because it looks like it goes well with this taupe set um, from Fashion Nova. Alrighty, let's get this day started. So it's getting started a little late. We just leaving the house. It's about to be five, but I want to pop over to the scent room to get this fragrance that I had a sample of when I was in Cabo. I had the Montau Discovery set, and um, I think it's called Sensual Instinct. It's been on my mind ever since, so I'm going to pop over to the same room because I know they have it. Um, they have like a huge selection of Montal, Zerjov, Nishani, like they have it all. It's literally the niche fragrance heaven for real. So I'm going to pop over there really quick because they close at 6 and I really want this uh, scent in my collection right now because I don't have a Montal fragrance. Um, and then we're going to go get these nails soaked off because they're literally lifting. Like I have about, I'm going to say out of 10 fingers, I think I have six that are lifting and it's driving me crazy because they're lifting from the cuticle and you know, like my nails are already really brittle. They're not like super strong. So it hurts. So I got to go ahead and get these off like today. 
I don't even have an appointment with Nina or Kay, but I, I'll see who can work me in, child, because I got to get these nails off my fingers immediately. And while I'm there, I'll go ahead and get a pedicure because I got some, like, white polish chipping on my toes. It ain't cute. So I'm going to get a pedicure while I'm there. And then after that, we'll go and get us something to eat because I feel a hungry headache coming on. Like, I feel like I'm about to start getting a headache. So, and my stomach is growling. I kind of want to go right now. But I feel like if I go before, they're not going to want to uh, do my do my pedicure and my nails. So, I need to go, like, early. So, we just going to have to... We just gonna have to wing it. I'm in London, I like to go and shop at the mall. Shop at the Prada, shop at the store. Shop in the drop and stop at your. The bank uh, Planes just landed. Heathrow, hop off the G4 standard. Single with smiley. Yes, but we do have a bunch of other ones that are in that same kind of Baccarat-esque realm. If you want to try them out. Like Instant Crush is a dead ringer. I have on Instant Crush. I have that already. Well, I guess that shows you how good it smells. It's sold out. It just really just upset me and my homegirls. Reservations at done. Wish for the process. Okay, you guys. I made reservations at Yo Steakhouse for 7:45, so we getting ready to head on over there, so we don't miss our reservation, Lord. Um. So it's nine minutes away, so we should get there in time. Come on now, y'all. Let me out. Okay, and um, so that pedicure that I got was the collagen pedicure this time. The last time I went there, I got the CBD pedicure, which is $20 more, like $20, 20 to $5 more. It's really, really nice. I love it. But this time I got the collagen pedicure because my heels were starting to like crack and get like super dry. And you know how when your heels start crack cracking, when you rubbing your feet, in uh, under the sheets they kind of start like snagging the sheets a little bit oh child that's a, that's embarrassing so that's why i went and got the collagen pedicure this time and oh my god i am in love with the collagen pedicure it is so relaxing and it had your skin so soft and you know how after you get your feet done they wipe everything that they put on your skin off i hate that like leave my legs shiny <laughs> i want my legs to shine <laughs> bright like a diamond leave my legs shiny so on with the collagen pedicure they leave it on there so your skin can like soak up all of the nutrients from the oil and the lotion and stuff like that so if y'all are in the dallas area try nail luau and get the collagen pedicure baby you are going to love it your feet gonna look so good and juicy and so 
unconquerable. Okay. But um, I got a hungry headache, so let's head on over here so we can eat good. Cause I had forgot all about Y.O. Steakhouse, y'all. Y.O. Steakhouse got the best meatloaf, and they have collard greens, baby. I'm finna eat real good. It's not a soul food spot, though. I don't, I don't know what's it called. It's a steakhouse. It's a steakhouse, but they got meatloaf and collard greens on the menu, <laughs> and it don't get no better than it. Checking the finest, choosing the finest, that's the environment. I'm at a time, I'm at a time. Baby, ooh, I'm checking my timing. I almost stepped in a big ass puddle of mud. Would have fucked my shoes up. Ooh, I would have been so mad. <laughs> It's just me and I am starving, starving, starving. So I just booked my first session uh, to start Pilates tomorrow so we can get this back together. Um, I'm still looking for a yoga person. I know I said that I was going to probably start with Yoga Almighty. Um, so I need to reach out to her and figure out where she does yoga but tomorrow we're starting Pilates. It feels so weird every time. Man. How many people is it gonna be? It's just me. Just you? Okay, yeah. I'll get your menu. Okay, thank you girl. Do you want a cocktail menu or anything today? Yeah. Okay, here's that for you. Uh, I know what I want. Oh, you know the home? You've been here before? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, gotcha. What can I get to start? Uh, chocolate espresso martini. Chocolate espresso martini? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Gotcha. And uh, so this is, is this our first time as far as like uh, the menu wise? Um, no, I've been here before, but I'm going to try something new. So let's try the Nashville hot fried oysters. Oysters. Do you want that as an appetizer? appetizer yeah. Perfect. And then... Um, for dinner, y'all got meatloaf, right? Y'all got meatloaf, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is a chocolate martini, right? Chocolate espresso martini. I'm sorry, I don't see the meatloaf. The meatloaf should be on the bottom left. Uh, we have it on uh, right here. Oh, okay. let me see. Give me one sec. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so actually we don't. I'm so sorry. So, uh, just the afternoons we have the meatloaf, the night we do not have it. Um, do you want to do like a chopped steak? Uh, we can do, it's not, it's kind of similar to it, but not really. Closest thing, that would probably be our, the closest thing to it. This is my first time eating horses, y'all. I'm fancy. But they fried. Because you know I would not, I would never eat a raw oyster. But Nashville high fried oyster sound good, so we're going to give it a whirl. And I think I'm going to get the chicken fried lobster. Oh, he went and got me some. Yep. He said something about the chopstick. Is this similar to the meatloaf? Outside, but four hours it feel like I've been outside all damn day. My phone dead, it was fully charged. I'm gonna tell you something about this damn iPhone 12. It ain't shit, it ain't shit. Don't get it. Oh, it's wait a minute. Are they still selling iPhone 12s? Probably not. They on 13s now. Well, I said what I said, so. What time is it? What time did I say it was? I think, I think it's nine. I think, 
I think the mall closed. I really wanted to go to the mall. What was I saying? <laughs> okay, so y'all, I'm lost in the mall, Poco. I always get lost downtown, but I'm by the Omni Hotel, okay. Why they don't have no signs up in Dallas to show you that this ain't no, like you can't get through this street? What y'all trying to do, set people up? This how people get robbed. You can't just do people, you can't just be doing people like this. You gotta let people know, Dallas. You gotta let people know. And what is you doing over there? Forensic files. So as I was saying, can I go this way? This way should be okay. So as I was saying, if you ever come to Dallas, you guys got to try and go to Wao Steakhouse. The food is amazing. Tonight I had the Nashville fried oysters, which were, baby, three snaps. They were so fucking good. And I don't even like oysters, especially raw oysters. But when I saw that they were Nashville fried, I'm like, yeah, give it to me, get it in my belly, period. So fine. So there's a new fave. And then also I got the chicken fried lobster with mashed potatoes and collard greens. <laughs> when I tell you that shit was so good, so good, baby. Let me tell you something. Them, them collard greens taste like my collard greens. Those collard greens were so good. Back at the house, I'm about to take me a uh, edible. I have three left. And I decided I'm not going out. I'm about to have me some company. Okay. And look y'all, Platinum D. She got me some cookies to celebrate my 100,000 subscriber milestone. It's a huge deal. You guys, I have been on YouTube. I have been on YouTube since 2013. It's a big deal. It is. And me and her going to lunch tomorrow. So, more celebrations. But yeah, I'm about to have me a little company, honey. Watch the um, haves and have nots. And I'm staying in. I'm not going out. So. Yeah. I really should have got that man to dip my real nails. Because. Yeah. This is a mess. I'm going to have to cut this all the way down to the meat. Because if not, it's going to keep snagging on stuff. And I don't like that. We just going to have to make it work. Do my hands look like a man hand? I mean, they don't look that bad. Let's get in. Let's get into this routine. Oh, that was honest. I would love for a nigga to be that honest with me. Tell me you got a lot of drama. Let it be my decision. You know what I'm saying? Don't just. Don't just uh let me all lollygag all into the situation. But let me tell you, baby, the 
the last episode was a lot. Melissa done jumped off the roof and killed herself, child, and they done sat up here and uh, Veronica, Veronica, some serious. Veronica done blew up Erica in her new BMW. Baby, I wish you would. I wish you would. Oh, I will hunt you to your dying day if you kill me in my new beamer. That is so inconsiderate. What, what the BMW have to do with it? Now, I wasn't, I'm not a fan of Erica because she trying to set up Candace and all that, so she needed to go. She needed to go when they took out war. But it's too much. It is too much, y'all. I need a break. I just want one episode. Just one. I keep saying this because I'm so serious. I just want them to have one episode. It's nothing going on. It's just a peaceful episode. That show should call should be called that episode should be called peace. Peace. Oh no. But I tell y'all, what time is it? Oh my god. It's 3.20 in the morning. <laughs>